This is a prototype of the Artemis III. We have the instrument, the operator station, and this is the headrest. The headrest is comprised of three comfortable pillows. Each pillow conforms easily to the shape and contour of the patient's face. When the patient has placed themselves in the headrest, we lock the position of each pillow to hold them firmly during the scan. When the scan is completed, we return the pillows back to their original shape. We'll take a closer look at the internals of the scan head. The entire scan head chamber is filled with water. The transducer is mounted on an arc motor that moves back and forth to keep the transducer perpendicular to the eye during scanning. The disposable eyepiece mounts to the scan head. The eyepiece contains a membrane that provides a separation barrier between the water in the scan head and the sterile saline that contacts the patient. Next we're going to demonstrate the scan procedure. The first thing we do is position the patient on the instrument. When she's got her head comfortably placed on the headrest, we lock the headrest into place to hold it steady throughout the scanning procedure. The next thing we do is fill the eyepiece with sterile saline. This takes only a few seconds. Okay, we can see the saline filling on the video, and that's just about full. It takes a couple seconds for the temperature of the eye to equalize with the temperature of the fluid, so the patient just leaves her eye closed. Whenever you're comfortable, open your eye. There. Now I can center the eye, and I'm going to configure the scan. We're doing the right eye, and we're doing a cornea scan. So now, I'm going to move the transducer out so I can see an echo from the eye, and I'm going to move it a little bit closer towards the eye. And if you can, yep, when she blinks, I can see the front of the eye there. What I'm looking at is the front of the cornea, the back of the cornea, and Bowman's interface. And at this point, I'm going to do a centering scan. Now we're centering, and it's an easy centering process. I move the the transducer left and right until the scan is perfectly flat and that looks good. So now I'm going to rotate it and do another centering scan on the vertical meridian. That makes sure that I'm centered in both directions. And there. That looks good also. Now I'm going to configure it to do a four meridian full scan. And when I do this I'm going to ask the patient just blink a couple times and when I get ready open your eye and hold your breath. Now we're doing a complete four meridian scan. That's three, and we have one more, and we're done. At this point, we have a completed scan. Okay, so the next thing I do is to drain the fluid from the eyepiece. I disconnect the source container and just allow the fluid to drain down into the waste bag that is attached to the disposable eyepiece. This takes just a few seconds. During this time, you can review the scans and start generating reports. There, it looks like the eyepiece is totally drained and we're done. To generate a report, select the scan set. We go to the review page. Here I can see the front of the cornea, the back of the cornea, and Bowman's interface. I adjust the brightness and contrast a little so I can see the back scatter within the cornea. And I can see remnants of a LASIK flap. This patient had LASIK five to six years ago. Then I click on the report button. This shows thickness maps of the cornea, the epithelium, and the stroma.